What is up guys, Adam here, welcome back to the fourth episode of my 1860 Munich career mode. Now if you missed last time, we actually picked up our first loss in this career mode, 4-2 versus VFL Bosham, and we picked up a 1-0 victory against Sandhaus Sandhausen, I think it's Sandhausen. So in this episode, no, I think we're playing Sandhausen today, yeah. So this episode we're playing SC Nuremberg, Fortuna Dusseldorf, and Sandhausen. So three games in quick succession, those are going to be the three games that we're going to play this episode. And uh, honestly, we're gonna have to rotate the lineup because three games in in a span of six days is very tough to play on the players. We're currently sitting second with 12 points. If you missed it from last time, Kaiser Slatan still hasn't lost the game. They have 15 points after five matches. So hopefully they slip up and pick up a loss somewhere in there, and we could come in and swoop three points from each of these three games and uh, you know take first spot. So I've received a message from Aaron Leia Iseka says I've been in the provisional team for the next game and I am amongst the subs I've been playing well so I really want to keep that momentum going boss so honestly I am going to be taking his uh, his uh, request into consideration we are taking on uh, 12th place Nuremberg after five matches they have two victories and three losses so hopefully we could jump into this match at home and pick up three points so a few changes to our lineup. We're going with Ryder, Kagelmacha, Schindler, Kemp, Vitek, Beister, Lacazette, Lenzo, Bongonda, Iseka, and Okota. Okotai. Oko, whatever the hell his name is. Let's kick this match off. Looking to bounce back from that very, very poor defeat away from home against Bosham. Hopefully, it won't be the same result. And it says a mountain to climb. Five goals allowed, best in the Bundesliga. And Nuremberg have only five goals scored. They are the worst scoring team they're the lowest scoring team in the Bundesliga so if we concede one goal I'm not going to be very happy because going up against a team who's 12th place and has two victories and three losses with five goals scored I do not want to come out of here with a loss yes let's go with tech let's go with tech let's go with tech Wittek has Okota on the left-hand side. Very nicely done. Cut inside. Yes. Give it to Wittek in the middle. Let's have a shot with our fullback. Wittek into the bottom right corner. Beautiful run from our fullback to give it to Okota. And then that awareness to run into the middle. Very nicely done. Look at that through pass from Okota into Wittek. And my fullback, who I'm looking to make him a long-term fullback, puts it into the back of the net. Scoring his first goal of his career with me. In the 10th minute, and we are up 1-0, 10 minutes into this match. Very nice interception, Bongo da Lendo. Try to give it to someone, but it's blocked. Mosmer has the ball. Mosmer sends it into the middle. Very nicely done from Lacazette. Somebody help him in support. Let's give it to Lendo. That's nice. Lendo has Izeka running forward. Come on, Izeka, get there. Let's score, Izeka. It hits off the bar. Izeka almost could have put in his second goal of the season. Very nice through ball into him, but he just couldn't finish. Do not make him shoot. Keep him on the outside of the box. Do not make him get it into the middle. No! It hits off the post. Let's clear this. Let's clear this. Oh my goodness. They could have drew level. But come on. Let's start on the counter attack. Let's go Bongonda. Bongonda to, e to Okotai. Okotai. Let's use dribbling. Yes. To get inside. To Iseka. Iseka. Let's have a first time shot. But a very weak shot. The referee blows for halftime. 1-0. A goal from who, the who scored? Who scored? Wittek scored. Wittek, our fullback, was the one who made it 1-0. They're going to have a corner coming up in the 51st minute. Uh, we've already conceded from a corner, I think, but can the goalkeeper get there? No! My goalkeeper didn't even make... Oh my god, what is it with these corners? My goalkeeper didn't even make an attempt to grab that. He just stood there and he watched it go over him. And then a volley into the back of the net. And Nuremberg, who, who have five goals scored on the season, now make it six. Danny Blum scoring his second goal, and it's drawn level at 1-1. Lacazette, stay on him. Lacazette, stay on him. Stay on him, Lacazette. That's what I said. Stay on him. How is that a foul? How in the world is that a foul? You saw him clearly get the ball before he, he had even any attempt to touch the player. Nuremberg is going to get a free kick coming up in the 60th minute. I think they're going for a corner, uh, a free kick routine. He takes a shot. It hits off the bar. Clear this, someone. Clear this. No, it goes right back to Bjergstaller. And he puts it into the back of the net. How is this even fair? I, it's not... Uh, I fucking cleared it. What do you want me to do? What else do you want me to do? It was not a foul in the first place. It hits off the bar. I clear it with Kempf, but it goes straight back to Bjergstaller. And he puts it into the back of the net. It's 2-1 for Nuremberg who are 12th place, 
12th fucking place. Go, Okotai. Go, Okotai. I don't know how much... I honestly don't even know how much speed he has, but he's going to lay it off to Izeka. Izeka is going to take it himself. Cut inside, Izeka. Very nicely done. Let's send it into the middle, Izeka. There's Lacazette. Yes, Lacazette. He's been defending well all game, and finally, he gets a reward for that amazing defending. Oh, I should have taken a shot with Izeka, but very lucky for Lacazette to receive the ball off the goalkeeper's hat, and he puts it into the back of the net. Lacazette scoring his first goal in the second Bundesliga. It is draw level at 2-2. We should not even be 2-2, but still, it's 2-2. I'm going for another goal. Adlung to Lando. No, why did he wait so long to give the ball? Let's give it back to Adlung. Yes, give it to Lando. Come on, Lando. Let's have a shot, Lando. Let's have a shot, Lando. Oh, no. And it's off the bar. He said, could get there. No. No, 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 no. And I'm going to draw off such bullshit goals. They score such... Oh, my God. Such bullshit, man. Both of their goals were just... My goalkeeper didn't jump for the corner and the second one was headed straight to the other team and he heads it first time into the back and then had 2-2. We pick up a draw. I did not deserve to draw this match. I hit the post in the 90th minute. Just so unlucky. Next match, away against Fortuna Dusseldorf. And I do not know where Dusseldorf currently sit. They are currently 9th. Two victories, two draws, two losses, but we know that that means absolutely nothing in this game because there's always bullshit. So let's jump into this match. Hopefully we can walk out of here with three points. We're not doing bad in the season. We're four victories, one draw, one loss. So, you know, we just need to stop conceding stupid goals. I'm going with some of my reserve players and my substitutes. I'm going with Ryder, Kovac, Valori, Dijenek, Vitek, Beister, Adlong, Aicicek, Simon, Mugosa, and Mulders. Hopefully we can still walk out of here with three points, even though we have a very rotated lineup. Let's kick this match off. You never know what happens in these games, even though rotated lineup or not, I'm still coming out of here with that intensity, counter-attacking football, and right from the get-go, I'm going to be intense and try to pick up a victory. Let's try not to concede while I'm talking right here and just completely screw up my speech. Very nicely done from Kovac. Kovac, they're not letting me do anything right now. They are not... Letting me do anything, but Adlong is going to take it forward. Adlong, yes. Very nice space in the middle. Mugosa, let's... Oh my god. I hit off the post. They're going to head it away. Let's try to head it back into the middle. Pick that up, Kovac. Okay, terrible touch. Let's have a shot. Kovac, saved by the keeper. Mulders. Oh my god, Mulders. No, Mulders. I literally put no power into that. I literally just... No, I touch it. Oh my god. Still nil-nil. Cross into the middle. Who is there? Mad Lung picks it up. We have Ad Lung. They have Mad Lung. I guess his freaking lungs are mad or something like that. Very nice steal to Vitek. Take it. Mugosa. Take it on your right foot. Mugosa. Let's have a shot. And it goes wide. End of the first half. I've shot wide like maybe six times. And I think I have like one shot on target. It's nil-nil. Let's just take a look at the stats right now. Uh, where the hell are match facts? After the first half, I have six shots. And one shot on target. Wide long into the middle to Sh Sasha Mulders. That's Simon running on the right-hand side. Let's have a shot with Simon. Let's have a shot from Simon. Oh my goodness, what a screamer from Simon. I just took it. Wow, what a strike. Finally, after seven shots in this match, Simon off an assist from Mulders. I just took that shot. I don't know what his stats are like. Look at that. Into the bottom right corner. I think it curved a bit to the right. Goalkeeper. Tried to die for it. I think it might have touched off the defender, but I don't think... No. I, no, it did not touch off the defender. And it goes into the back of the net. Christian Simon scoring in the 47th minute. First goal of this season. We are up 1-0. Very nice long shot. So they have a corner coming up in the 86th minute. Let's get this. Let's get this. They go for the header. Clear this. Clear this. Very nicely done. Bulo. No. Ryder picked that up. Oh, my God. They almost drew level. No, okay. Let me try not to run into my own net. I've done that once before in my Milan career. Let's just clear it. And that's the end of this game. We pick up three points away from home. Very nicely done from my rotated lineup. A goal from Simon. A very beautiful long shot. For this match against Sandhausen, we get our first monthly scouting update. And honestly, I don't see anything right now that stands out to me. I only have a one-star, one-star scout, but... I think I'm going to take this guy, Axel Saglam. He's 46 to 60 overall with a potential of 58 to 78. So I'm going to scout him. Hopefully, I have enough money. And yes, I do. And that's the only player that I'm going to sign. And the rest of them, I'm just going to keep them in my monthly scouting update. Final game of this episode coming up against Sandhausen. And now Sandhausen are bottom with three points after seven matches. 
Line up for this match, Ryder, Kovac, Schindler, Kempf, Vitek, Beisler, Adlong, Lacazette, who has been phenomenal the last game I played him. Bongonda, Iseka, and Okotai. Versus Sandhausen on this rainy night. Look at this, Ruben Okotai has six assists. I did not even notice how many assists he's had in the past couple of games. He's just been an assisting machine. Hopefully in front of our home fans we'll give them a very nice performance and walk out of here with three points after 90 minutes. Get this Izeka, yes, nicely done. He's gonna get taken down. Referee, give that man a yellow card, please. And it's gonna be a straight red. Yes, Kemp, very nicely done. Why is Kemp pushing so forward? Let's give it to Okotai, Okotai, let's go for post. And a save by the keeper. Can Lacazette get there? We need to take advantage of them being down to 10 men. That was a very nice opportunity. Lacazette, let's play back to Witek. Witek in the middle to Adlung. Adlung to Beister. Beister, take it. Let's go, Beister. Let's go, Beister. Have a shot, Beister! Into the back of the net. Maximilian Beister takes advantage of them being down one man short and slots it into the back of the net. Very nice shot, very nice play. Nice pass from Adlung and Beister into the back of the net. It looked like he, it was a weird shot, but he scores his third goal in the second Bundesliga. We really need to look to pick him up at the end of the season because it is only a one-year loan spell for Maximilian Beister. But that's the end of the first half, 1-0. A goal from, who was the goal from? Beister. I keep forgetting who the goals are scored by. Maximilian Beister scoring his third goal. He has one shot on target, one goal, and we're up 1-0. No, Lacazette, please don't tell me that's another yellow. No, Lacazette is going to pick up a red card. How? Romald Lacazette is going to pick up a second yellow card. And we're going down to 10 men. He just tried to get the ball and the guy fucking threw himself on the floor. Freaking score one so we don't con- No! That's a sliding challenge from behind. Is that gonna be another red? They're gonna get a second red card. There's been three red cards handed out in this match. A terrible challenge gives them another red card. And now we're back up by one player. Bongoda lays it off to Simon. Simon into Izeka. Izeka who is dead tired. He's gonna try to take it inside. Very nicely done. Let's go, Iseka. Very nice dribbling. Let's take a shot. Iseka hits off the goalkeeper's hand. And Iseka is going to score his second goal of the season. Second or third. Very nice run. The defenders were very, very tired right there. So I took advantage of it. And I took advantage of them being two men down. And I just took it with his left foot. Honestly, I think Iseka can be a very good striker in a few years. He already has two goals on the season. So I might try to pick him up after his two-year loan spell. And uh, yeah, we're up 2-0 in the 79th minute. What the hell just happened? They called the playback and Witek is injured. He went for the header and he freaking fell on the guy. And we pick up three points from this match. And after three games in this episode, we have managed to pick up a total of seven points. Two victories, one draw. Izeka scoring his second goal very nicely done. So Ramad Lacazette has picked up a red card and will be out for one match. And as you can see right here... Maximilian Witek has suffered a sprained ankle and will be out for four weeks. It's not that long, could have been worse, but still a very, very vital part of this team. But the good thing right now is that we do have like a week off, so our players are not going to be tired for the next game coming up against Disburg. And at the end of this episode, we finish with 19 points after eight matches. I'm going to simulate one day because Kaiserslautern is going to play their next game. And they picked, up a, uh, they picked up a draw. So we're now on level points with Kaiser Slotten, but we're only up because of goal differential. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, you can leave me a like down below. Thank you guys so much for supporting this series. And I will see you next time. Why the fuck you lying? Why? Lying about what? Why you always lying? Why? What am I lying about? Subscribe and do a channel. But I am subscribed. Stop fucking lying. Okay, I'll go subscribe.